Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This will be my last unboxing for Hermes for the year 2023. I'm so happy that I finally able to get this Skoda bag and I hope you will like this bag as much as I do. Today I'll be unboxing 3 items from Hermes. And these 3 items are my Christmas present that my husband got for me this year. And I love it so much. I want to share you guys. It's something that I've been wanting to get so I'm glad I finally got it before the year 2023 ends and before the Hermes price increase. Which you guys know every year Hermes will increase their prices. I think 1st January, I'm not sure. Every country is different. I'm not sure if Singapore is going to increase their price from 1st January or mid January. But roughly January to February, Hermes will definitely increase their prices. So I'm glad that I was able to get it. And so guys, if you could like to get things before the price increase, get it now. There's only a few more days till 2023 comes to an end. Hey guys, so the video was not recorded and I've already unboxed everything. I've finished unboxing the entire Hermes, Hermes video, Hermes unboxing. And I decided to check the camera and the video was not recorded. I don't know why, my Naka wasn't, didn't record it the video so everything really I'm not gonna you guys don't mind I'll just show you guys really quick everything since I've kind of done it but yeah so this watch was the item that I wanted and I decided to go with the with the mini cage diamonds with diamonds at the side instead of the big cage. You know guys there's a big cage and I didn't really like that that much so I decided to go with this mini cage with diamonds. It was really pretty on me and I decided to go with the silver I know they have like rose gold but I decided to go with this and there we go yep shall we try it on yeah let me do this quickly so now I'm just taking a look at my video uh, on my no actually on my handphone to make sure that the video is recording there we go so here we are. It's really tiny. Look, there's a little diamonds on it. I'm sure if you guys can see, I'm just move closer to this. Yeah, there we go. The tiny little diamonds and it's a silver for the palladium. I love it. Let's see a little price for this. And the price for this was oh yeah, I think the receipt here. I never remember. It's eight thousand two hundred plus. And yeah, I think it's actually a very good buy. But as you guys know the price is going to increase next year, which is I think January, every country is different. And I think the price will be like way higher than obviously. And if you guys have anything that you want to get, just go ahead and buy it before the price increase. Now we are left with few days before the end of, of 2023. And here we go, here's the other ring that I bought. It's a diamond band. Some people use this as wedding ring. There's, there's diamonds everywhere. It's really tiny though. But it looks, it's really dainty. Let me just show you. I'm so happy that my sister system was actually able to it was actually remember this ring for me. Let's take a look at this. I normally stack it with my wedding bands and my diamond ring. It's so tiny. Eh? Okay, and this I picked white gold. <coughs> I felt like white gold would look younger than yellow gold, uh, rose gold. So white gold for me for this. Let's take a look at the price for this. Seven thousand two hundred for the wedding band. It's actually called the Alliance Iran. If you want the link for this wedding band or diamond ring I could leave it in the description box and you can check it out it's really pretty if you want to stack your bands and it comes in a white box my sister sister also gave me two travel pouches which I really love if you are traveling you just slot it in but I don't think I'm bringing it because who knows I'm gonna lose it right and here's a little story is that I lost my Kelly Gomet Kelly Gomet diamond bracelet in Copenhagen I recently went to Copenhagen and I lost it there yes $20,000 and I can't believe I lost it but 
it already happened, so there's nothing I can do about it. I'll just move on. I don't think I'll get a replacement for it. I think I'll be sad whenever I wear it, I'll see it. So I decided not to get a replacement and just continue shopping on other things. Right? I mean, we have to move on. But I think I'll feel better as time goes by. But yeah, there we go. And shall we go on to the next item? Shall we pull all the ribbon out? Because <laughs> the video kind of stopped unboxing, so I really, really put it all out. Oh, by the way, my sister's assistant was on maternity leave. So, so I actually can't, remember, can't believe that she remembered this bag. Uh, and this wedding diamond band because when I bought this when I a request for this was many months but I think it was beginning of the year <coughs> I told my sister I really want this band because it looks really cute and nice to stack out with all my other bands and she remembered it and she went home with another day leave and she came back and she said oh she kept this for me in my size I actually bought a size bigger so that it's not so tight and I can just stack it. So bear in mind, if you want to stack it, you might want, not want your original size. And go and check it out. Okay, so there we go. And this one. I love it. Oh, by the way, this is an alligator skin in Etok. It's such a pretty color. I decided not to go with black because black is so common. I decided to go with something different. Yeah. I mean, can I change the shred for black to black next time? Yeah, there we go. And here we are. Okay. So let me just put my phone aside to make sure the video is recording this time around. Drum roll guys. <laughs> Even though I already put the ribbon. So the next story about this is that I will hold this to make sure it's recording. Um it's and the back story about this is that I first time saw this back in the fashion show for the fall winter 2022 it was on the model and i was like oh my god i really need this bag i love it so much i told my sister in 2022 that i want this bag and she said no i most probably won't have an issue getting it but i just might need to wait because <coughs> it's still going to be this until 2023 and 2023 i think roughly around june i thought i wanted it and she said yeah, most probably I wouldn't have, I would be able to get it, but you know, normally they say you get it, you get it, but I'm not exactly sure whether you really get it. And who knows, I actually really got it. So I actually got this back in November 2023, but I didn't do unboxing because <coughs> of a personal reason. A family member of actually passed away and decided not, I decided not to do any unboxing and keep this for Christmas instead and treat it as Christmas present. So thank you to my dear husband who got me for this as Christmas present and these other two, these other two was actually Christmas presents too so I'm very really happy about it and I love it. I'm also really going to use it frequently. I mean you already purchased something so you should use it frequently you know what's the point of getting it, right? And and so I'm 15, no, on, in November <coughs> I actually went to meet my sister today, she was on maternity leave, she finally came back and I met her, so I was shopping and I told her that look, I haven't got a Gora bag under my account this year and I really keep spending really short. So I really hope to get this bag and she said she'll see what she can do and try my her best to get it for me before 2020 she comes out. And, and plus, this bag is a middle edition, so most probably you need to get it as soon as possible. You won't know when you're going to stop it. And when you stop it, you can't get it anymore until they decide to come back again. And I decided you should buy this ring. And this ring was was what I purchased the day when I met her. So guys, when I meet my sister, I don't go there to chit chat. I do normally get something. It's not nice to waste people's time, right? They earn commission, so it's not nice to sit there two hours, three hours, and then you don't buy anything. I I don't know. I just see people who stay there and talk one hour. And you don't get anything. Look, they are not there to talk, right? They are there to work. So if you're gonna there, go there, please try to get something small, not don't make appointments unless you know you there's something there that's available for you to purchase. So I got this ring and the next day uh so no, so on the day she she was like, okay, I'll try it. Yeah, you know, she was really nice to be honest. I love I love talking to her and all that. She's a really nice person. And then the next day, 
because I just came back from Copenhagen, I was not able to adapt to the Singapore time zone. I was waking up according to Copenhagen timing and I woke up roughly around 1 plus p.m. So I woke up, prepared and then she miscalled me. She has never miscalled me. So I was thinking, what is it? And she's like, come down. She miscalled me and then she texted me, come down now, ha ha. And then she's just kidding, take your time. Then she didn't reply me. And then she didn't text anything and I didn't reply her because I was just woke up not long and then after that she said the back name and then the hardware and colour. I was like, oh my god. I was like, I started screaming and then my husband was like, no one makes me scream except for so he knows that he knows probably one of my dream bag came. So yes, there here it is. This is my dream bag, which is just one day later I got this bag. So this bag I spent around, let me think. Uh, so this ring was 7,200. Before that, I already spent about 22,000 something. I think roughly about 22,000 something or 23,000. So plus this ring, I spent around 30,000, 31,000 dollars to get this bag. Is it worth it? Definitely, right? I mean, yes, I would say yes. Because if it's not worth it, I won't get it. And plus, you can't put a price on happiness, isn't it? You can't, yeah. Okay, so thank you. I'm so happy, really. I'm so happy about it. And then on the next day, I, I went to meet her, and she said, No, I saw her, and then I started going up to her and just like that to her, like, you know, kind of hug her. But yeah, I was just so excited about it. I really love this bag so much. I, it's always been my dream bag since I saw it in the fall winter 2022. So I knew that I, I really want to get it. I don't post on Instagram that. I want this bag for 2023 and here I am, I can't believe it, you know, dreams do come true even though it didn't come easy, right, money kind of bought it, money kind of fulfilled this dream <sighs> so I don't know why people say money doesn't buy happiness, money buys happiness to a certain extent, definitely not health if you have like a big illness or anything, but it definitely buys some form of happiness for you which is this, this is my happiness right now <laughs> Okay guys, so shall we go open it up and take a look at this bag? Okay, since I already have already removed the ribbon, so I'm just gonna clean up my bed. Just gonna clean up nicely. Yes, it's a blue box. Let me just make sure the video is still running. Yes, it's a blue box. Can I believe it? This is my second blue box. My first blue box was the Birkin 25 Shadow this year during the June. And I can't believe it, I actually able to get two blue box this year. So my sister was on during a was she was gone for maternity leave. And this year I was only able to get two bags, but I'm happy now. I mean, I don't need so many, right? Yeah, okay, for now. Okay, so I got this blue box, and we all know blue box is a limited edition, so I was dying to get this bag as soon as possible. Because I'm not sure when you stop this bag, when you stopped it. I don't, I don't think I can get it anymore unless through auction or second hand shops. Which I don't feel like getting it back through them. I don't know why, I just don't feel like it. The price are ridiculous, I think it's about $60,000. So I decided to just wait and yes, I really got it. Can okay, I just shift the things around a little? Okay, so I'm going to move a little for the blue box which means which indicates that it's a limited edition and it comes with this little mini blue dust bag too for the booklet. Yeah. I don't see raincoat in this bag because I think they really stopped raincoat completely and mini caddy doesn't have raincoat so where we go I don't really think I need a raincoat. Don't use it anyway. Kind of waste. So yeah there we go. Should we take a look at this bag? I already removed all this little thing I just now I unboxed it and then video didn't record right so I already removed it so I'm just going to leave this aside and there we go ah uh, my hardware is going to open it up really so okay let me just
just close it so it looks nice. So try. Okay, you guys can actually see how it looks like rather than it being open up. <sighs> Give me a minute, close this back. Since you guys really sneak peek on it, so you know what bag is it, isn't it? Yes. So let's do a mini 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 mini. Try to get a drum roll. I'm so happy I actually got the Kelly 20 Kelly, actually it's a Kelly 20 Kelly Disorder in Black Go Hardware. Yeah, can you imagine it? I'm getting it in black and go hardware. <sighs> just how happy I am right now. Let me just focus it properly. Okay, okay the back. Yeah, okay, so this is the Kelly Disorder in Black Go Hardware. I love it. Let me just focus the back. Oh god, okay. Is it still recording? Yeah, it is. It's two-sided. I love how this is two-sided. It's so unique. And they have never made this kind of bag before, so I feel find it so special and I really wanted this in my collection. The smell of new bags. Do you guys smell your new bags? There's this nice leather smell. I don't know, I find myself weird smelling it. Do you guys do it? Is it just me? I'm real. I know. Okay. Kind of size. It's much bigger than a mini caddy. Definitely. If you guys want me to do a comparison with this and mini caddy, I won't mind doing it. Just let me know. I think it'll be fun to do it. And here is the blue box. So previously my looking shadow box, the thing kind of fell out, but this one it didn't fell out. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah, the back. Okay, let me just put this here for now. Okay, is this still focusing? I'm recording. Yeah, it is. I'm so scared it stops recording. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, so I went into the room and then I opened up and I started hugging it and I started trying it. And my husband and sister assistant said that this bag really suits me a lot. And yeah, of course, right? It's made from. I'm just kidding, but. Yes, this bag really suits me a lot. It's something that I can imagine myself wearing uh, in when I'm 40, 50s, 60s. And this year I'm 30, so yeah, now 30, 40 years, I'll still be using this bag and age with it. Epson does get scratches. This is Epson, by the way, gets scratches, but I think I'm okay with the scratches. You will kind of age with it. Every scratches kind of tell the story of a part of your life or whatsoever that causes it. And I think I'm okay. My mini caddy. Black Epson has a number of scratches on it, and I'm okay with it. I mean, at first time, I'm like, oh, it hurts. After that, mm, okay. Now I'm just happily enjoying my bag. Should we get a close up for this bag? Let me just focus it, okay? Let me just take a look at this. Isn't it pretty? I like this dress. It kind of suits this bag so well. Just take a look at this. Oh. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Okay, let's take a close up. Mm, it's focusing now. Okay, takes a while for me to focus this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, can you just imagine? This bag, how hard it was for me to get it. I was his super hard, but it took me a while to, to get it. Am I happy? Yeah, definitely. Why would I not be happy, right, guys? And yes, I can't believe I got this bag for 2023. My bad wish list kind of came true for this year. The Bucky 25 Shadow Etop and this Kelly 20 Disorder in Black Go Hardware. This is my second black bag from for me. So you guys know that blacks are so hard to wear. Right, and it takes a while and I'm so glad I got it and guys thank you so much for watching my unboxing video for Hermes unboxing video for 2023 and I'm glad you guys are here to watch it and watch my unboxing I mean it's a little boring right <laughs> I don't know it's a bit weird talking to the camera until I'm not very used to it I feel a bit awkward and my words are just too jumbled up but yes I hope I start to improve as time goes by I don't know if I feel less awkward but Thank you so much everyone for watching my YouTube channel and being here with me watching all my unboxing, my homies unboxing 
this vlog and I hope you guys will have a wonderful 2023 and 2024 since 2024 is coming in a few days time I hope you guys have gotten the bags that you wanted and see you guys in 2024 and have an amazing year alright guys and happy new year and merry christmas thank you for watching bye